Hello, this is Darren Cross, and this is a tutorial on how to stop your Nitro RC engine. So over here is my car, and here is my engine with a purple cooling head. And so the first way I'm going to show you is the most recommended way to stop the engine, and that's actually to stop the flywheel completely, as that will stop the piston, therefore stopping the engine. So a good way to do that would be to get like a screwdriver and use the rubber bit on the end and push it in but cars like mine um, can't really fit it in there so I can use a smaller one or yeah but to show you I actually have a starter boss and the starter boss has got a rubber spinner in there so and I'm going to just push down to stop it alright so let's get the engine started up got my glow igniter double A powered So as you saw in that close-up vid, the flywheel came in contact with the starter box's rubber spinner, therefore quitting the engine. So now this next way is to actually pinch the fuel line, which makes um, less fuel go into the carburetor, which means more air, therefore leaning out the mixture and therefore cutting the engine. So I'm going to show you now. So let me start my engine up. So as you saw there, um, when I pinched the fuel line, it stopped the fuel from going into the carburetor, therefore more air and leaning out the mixture and then stopping the engine. So actually there is something you can do. There's a test you can do when you pinch the fuel line and once you've pinched it, the second you pinch it, you count. Um, you count and you stop counting when the engine stops. And basically if it's under four seconds, your mixture is too lean and if it's above six seconds, then it's too rich and in between it's your low ends perfect so that's going to be for your that's a test for your low ends needle not your high ends and not your idle for your low ends okay so this next way is to lock the exhaust this is going to cut the engine as it's going to force the fuel into the carburetor as it does when you prime it because you lock the exhaust and because it's going to force the fuel into the carburetor, it's going to flood the engine and the engine's going to stop. So let me go and start the engine. So as you saw there, I got my finger and the cloth and put it over the exhaust, which forced the fuel into the carburetor, flooding the engine and stopping the engine. So that was the um, last of three ways to stop the engine. So um, thanks for watching. Um, this was Darren Cross. Like, subscribe, comment. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you and goodbye.